Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech looking at the top 10 cards that need a reprint. And there are so many cards that need a reprint that I had to limit this list to, well, 20 because I like to put extra cards on lists. The criteria for today is that they are rare or mythic. I'm going to do a separate list on uncommons and a separate list on commons. So many cards need reprints and that they're not on the reserve list. That seems like a no-brainer. Honorable mentions here, Imperial Seal. Wonderful EDH card, weaker version of Vampiric Tutor, $450 to $800? This is just crazy. Even a Judge Foil would help bring down the price of this crazy card, but it really isn't needed, so it didn't make the list. Cool card. Imperial Recruiter, wonderful card. Not likely to see a reprint. We just saw a white, similar, almost functional reprint of it. Damnation, I just did a video on this earlier this week, which is why it didn't make the list. People were so mad that it wasn't an announcement of a reprint that they missed the cool remix stuff that was going on with it. Check out that video if you want to see a fun video. Blood Moon, broken good card. I play three of them in vintage. I had to cut somewhere so it didn't make the list. It's a little mean to play. I understand how terrible it is to not be able to tap your super expensive Mishra workshops for three mana because I first turned Blood Moon. Oh, it feels so good though. Lands. We need fetch lands. We need lots of fetch lands. Fetch lands are the biggest barrier for people getting into modern. Modern is super expensive because of fetch lands. These were printed at rare. They were printed once. They need to be printed in a standard set, not a modern master set. $35 to $90 a piece is just crazy. I was hoping to even see them in Conspiracy. A supplemental set at 3 to $4 per pack would have helped so much. I'm worried that they're only going to be printed in the next Modern Masters, and then the prices will stay high. Please let people get into the cool format that is Modern. Liliana of the Veil, vale, one of the most fair cards in Magic, and wonderfully powerful. Junk, Jund, lots of decks like Shardless Bug play this card. It is a great card. I would love to see a lot more of them out there and available for people to brew with. Number eight spot here, Noble Hierarch. With Deathrite Shaman banned in Modern, this is the go-to card. And it gets played in the Broken Infect deck, both in Modern and in Legacy. It can be beaten in those environments. It's one-dimensional. It is a super fast combo deck that actually attacks. Noble Hierarch, though, is similar to land in that people really need mana dorks and they often need three or four of them. There are so many lands that need a reprint. Rishadon Port, the most expensive card in Death and Taxes. Grove of the Burn Willows, Horizon Canopy, and one of my absolute favorite cards ever printed, Cavern of No, You Can't Play Force of Will Against Me Souls. Oh wait, you can play it. You just pitched a card for nothing. I so enjoy Cavern of Souls, and it so needs a reprint. Number six spot here, I've got Flusterstorm. This is one of the legacy vintage only cards that made this list. It sees a little bit of play in your more competitive EDH. It is such a wonderful card, and the demand for this is much higher than the print run ever was on it. I would love to see this card come back. In the number five spot here, I've got Goblin Guide, and I have a specific suggestion. Create the equivalent of the Bolt Slinger deck for individuals who want to play Legacy or Casual. Goblin Guide is a staple in red deck wins. And at 35 bucks a piece, it shoots the cost of that deck way through the roof. Lots more people would try out tournaments if they could get an entry level aggro deck, which is actually a little more complicated than people realize to play and win with. But if they can get in at a reasonable price, they'll play the environment and then they'll try other decks and then they'll expand into building other decks. Have a gateway aggro deck that is cheap. Make a clash pack for legacy that has goblin guide in one of the two packs. That would be awesome. Force of Will. I know you're saying this was just reprinted, Brian. A mythic reprint in a $10 a pack set doesn't count as a reprint. The price barely blipped. And in fact, the reprint is worth more than the original because it's got cooler artwork. This is a card that 
I hope continues to be in future Eternal Masters set. There isn't a huge pressure on it right away, but long term it will go back up. And this is a card that people must have if they're going to play blue in Legacy. And it's a wonderful card for anybody who wants to police the table in EDH. Force of Will, please continue to print this in supplemental materials. Number three here is Chalice of the Void. Ooh, this is a rare at $40 that is essential for stopping blue decks in Legacy that is solid against several different decks in many different environments. One of my favorite budget decks used to be Four Color Loam. The price of many of the cards in this deck have shot up, and Chalice of the Void is one of those. I really enjoy watching Brainstorm players cry when you drop this on turn one. The only thing that would be better than reprinting Chalice of the Void is reprinting a new version of it that says cannot be countered. How cool would that be? Ancestral Visions, wonderful card, has spawned a different style of control that waits, that is good, in modern it is not broken in modern but a lot of people don't get the chance to play it because it's 45 dollars it is a staple in shardless bug yeah the rest of the deck is crazy expensive too it is a wonderful card though in commander it's great in cubes this is a card that lots of people would be super happy to see reprinted number one spot here ether vial this is like land but it works in many, many, many different colored decks. Incredible card. Really, really needs a reprint. This is an uncommon at $40, even after seeing a reprint. Let's see more Ether Vials. Let more people build interesting decks in Modern with it. This is the biggest choke point for many different decks out there. It's a lot like land in that it is needed as a four of, and moving it up to rare just kept the price high. I would be happy to see this move back to uncommon, although I think that's unlikely. So instead, let's print it every year to two years so that people can get in and play some interesting decks with it. What card do you really want to see reprinted that didn't make this list? Please leave it in the comments. To support the channel, please head over to Patreon. And for honor and nobility, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. We've got some awesome announcements coming up later this week. Watch the channel. A lot of cool stuff is happening. Until next time, choose the cards wisely.